Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman is one of the great masters in American politics of using cutting humor and sarcasm to point out exactly what a bunch of unprintable buffoons Republicans are these days. The latest came in a CNN interview with Abby Phillip. And I'm not going to hold out on you here. Let's just show you that moment. A final word on, on this, uh, Senator. House Speaker Mike Johnson has said that Republicans have a duty to bring an impeachment vote to the floor. That would be an impeachment vote against President Biden. What's your response to the speaker? <laughs> oh no, please, please don't impeach her. Oh my God, Those, that, that bad, bad man. You know, yeah, I, 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 it's, it's so scary. Oh no. But whatever a weirdo, you know, says about that, it's like, go ahead. There's a lot to unpack here. First of all, I want to give an Emmy Award nomination to Abby Phillip. Look at her incredibly professional, stone-faced demeanor while she holds it together like a boss as Senator Fetterman dismisses Mike Johnson as being beneath contempt. Watch this again and just focus on her incredible stoicism. Oh no, please, please don't impeach her. Oh my God, Those, that, that bad, bad man, you know, yeah, I... I, I, it's, it's so scary. Beyond that, this is just delicious from a few standpoints. Did you notice, for example, that John Fetterman is basically doing the Montgomery Burns riff on the Germans? All right, Mr. Burns, you win, but beware. We Germans aren't all smiles and sunshine. Ooh, the Germans are mad at me. I'm so scared. Ooh, the Germans. Uh-oh, the stop Germans it. are coming to get stop me. Stop easy, guys. Oh, don't let the Germans come after please me. Please stop the pretending oh, no, you're scared, the Stop after it. Me. Oh, no, they're so big stop and strong. It. Stop, stop it, Mr. Burns. Stop pretending you're scared Germans, of us, please. Now. Second, you gotta love how he keeps it subtle. It's just like back when there was that whole ridiculous quote-unquote issue about the Senate dress code and Republicans who spent the last eight years supporting Donald Trump as their golden calf, a man who has been indicted on 91 felony counts, led an insurrection, has been found by a judge to be liable for sexual assault, and who the media is now openly referring to as a fascist, started trying to make an issue of Fetterman wearing shorts and a hoodie. Here's what Fetterman had to say about that. It's, you know, a little more freedom, which should be bipartisanship, you know what I'm saying? So, but I don't know why the right side seems to be losing their minds over it. Like, ah, dogs and cats are living together and, you know, like the world's spinning off its axis. Again, it's subtle. He slides pop culture references right in there that many people might not have noticed. But of course, people of a certain age, which I'm sorry to say I am, got immediately. He was doing Ghostbusters. Remember this? Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. And finally, in one word, he manages to perfectly label House Speaker Mike Johnson. Weirdo. The guy is an unbelievable weirdo. He helped build a creation museum that shows people riding dinosaurs. This looks like an apatosaurus uh, or something. Yeah, it's a sauropod. Yeah. Your claim is that a family built this enclosure for ancient sauropods. But they're very troubling. But, but they're beautifully done, aren't they? I guess. Before they were herded onto Noah's Ark, he made a way to save people and animals on board the Ark, including the dinosaurs. He has a pact with his son to monitor each other's, um online entertainment choices, and he has another adoptive son who he tries to hide exists. He doesn't report having a bank account, and he stole his entire look from Zed from Pulp Fiction. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. Fetterman always manages to make a key, profound point in just a few words and with a little bit of humor. Republicans are feckless, performative clowns. In fact, he said that exact thing back during the whole speaker race. They think it's all entertainment. It's entertainment, you know, that's really, it's, it's part of the tragedy. You know, you know, entertainment is not governance and that's what they believe over there. And you know, it's time to just do their job. Look, dealing with the news and the behavior of these unhinged anti-democratic wackos is pretty tough these days, especially when they're abusing power with their invented meritless impeachment inquiry into President Biden and melting down our government with power struggles over who can be the most MAGA. We should all be glad that at least we have Senator Fetterman to give us a smile about it.